Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. We have two birthdays today. That is Ariana and Miss Mayo's class and Adrian and Miss Campos class. So happy birthday to both of you. For lunch today, we're having a walking taco with beef, refried beans, leafy greens, cucumber, celery sticks, baby carrots, tomato slices, apples, oranges, and applesauce cups. And remember, we don't have any school on Monday, so enjoy the three-day weekend. And when we get back on Tuesday, we will be having um, chicken patties on a bun or BYO pizza stacker with baked beans, leafy greens, cucumbers, celery sticks, baby carrots, tomato slices, apples, oranges, and green grapes. So lots of fun stuff for lunch. And now on to Future Friday. Okay, everyone, it's time for another Future Friday where we look into your future to see what kind of careers and colleges are available to you. It's important to know what options you have because knowledge is power, and we want you to know all of the options, including college, trade school, military, employment, technical college. There's so many paths you can take. Good morning and welcome to Future Friday. This week we're going to meet Ms. McKinnon's husband, Mr. Dan McKinnon, who works as a coal mine inspector and reclamation specialist with the Department of the Interior. Mr. McKinnon, what is a typical day like on your job? Hey, thanks for having me on too. Um, I have two typical days. I do get to field inspect, so part, what, a big part of my job is going to the coal mines to make sure that everything's running smoothly and no laws are being broken, um, that streams are still not being polluted, etc. Um, so that's part of my job. I get to go out into the field. Um, and then the other part of my job, which takes up a lot of time, more than the field inspection time, is writing the inspection reports and doing some other things that make sure that the coal mine uh, operators are uh, following the law. What do you find to be the most challenging part of your job? I think the most challenging part of my job is sometimes when I see something concerning. So I'm a, I work for the U.S. government and there's always a state inspector there as well with me. And sometimes uh, we can talk about things, but then the third person that is almost always there is an operator's representative. So the coal mining operation has a representative there as a witness to everything we're doing and make sure we're being safe on the coal mine as well. And so sometimes we have to talk and discuss about concerning things that we see on the mine. And sometimes there are some disagreements, um, but everyone is very professional and it, I've never had an argument um, at a coal mine. What's your favorite part of your job? My favorite part is going into the field and inspecting. Um, I get to go to Alaska to inspect coal mines. And so that's, I, I just got back from, from Alaska. So that's very exciting to me is to be able to go and see these places that are very wild. You know, a, a lot of coal mines are in very wilderness types of areas. And so there's not a lot of towns around these places. So you really have to do a good job inspecting to make sure that the wilderness is staying the wilderness. And then they're reclaiming after they're done uh, coal mining, they have to reclaim the land. They have to fill the hole and they have to revegetate it for wildlife purposes for the most part. So um, you get to go outside and you get to do some hiking in some places where hardly ever anyone has gone before. So um, I would say that's the best part of my job. So what education or training would someone need to have this job or what kind of person might make a great coal mine inspector? 
on. So to be curious, to ask them questions, be okay with not knowing things and being humble enough to, to let that person know that you're trying to understand their job, what they're doing, and uh, how they can better explain your questions or what you're confused about or what you don't even know. Um, being outside is definitely, if you like being outside, looking at nature um, is, is a really important um, part of my job. If I just wanted to be in the office, this would not be the job for me. Um, as an example, I was in, like I said, Alaska um, recently, and for the first time in my life out in nature, I saw a wolf. And that was something that was very special to me. And I um, only got to see it for a couple seconds, but that type of excitement, you know, that really motivates me um, to do a good job, to make sure that I'm out there and get those rewards, to, to be able to see nature in, in some of its wildest spots. Just be curious. Um, Writing is a big part of my job. So uh, writing, if you like writing, and I like writing, um, that's a good, it's a good place to be. And hiking and being out in the mountains um, is, again, it's my favorite part of the job. So I would say um, you do need to go to college, but you don't need to be a chemist or a geologist or an engineer for this job. You can just be a biologist. And to to be, uh, I was uh, an insect scientist before I get the, got this job and I don't deal with insects anymore. Okay, well, thank you so much for sharing with us about your career.